All right, this page number four, problem four. This is the review for our 9.1, 9.2 test tomorrow. So we're talking about, we have a preference schedule and we're talking about majority method here. Majority method, remember we're gonna take the total votes and that's given to us right there. 13 votes is five plus four plus three plus one. So that's 13 votes there. So we take the total votes and we only count the first place votes. Okay, well, we don't worry about anything else. So we take the total votes, which is 13. And we divide that by two. And so we get six and a half, and we're going to round that up to the nearest whole number. So that means we need at least seven votes for a majority. And so we list our candidates. We've got Happy. We got Dopey. And we got uh, Grumpy. And we got Sneezy. Those are our four candidates. Well, Happy has got a of, of first place vote, and that's five first place votes. We're gonna put five next to Happy's name. Dopey has four first place votes, so we're gonna put four next to Dopey. And Happy gets another three votes, so we're gonna add three onto that total. And Grumpy got one first place vote. Now Sneezy didn't get any first place vote, so he got a big zero. So now we add these up. And Happy's total votes is eight. Dopey's total votes is four. Grumpy's total votes is one. And Sneezy's total votes is one is zero. So who won our election? Well, the one with the most votes. Now, is this a plurality or is this a majority? Well, remember, we need at least seven votes for a majority. And we have eight is greater than seven. Eight votes is greater than seven. So we have happy is our majority winner. All right. So using plurality method, well, you're not going to have, if you have a majority winner, you're not going to have a plurality winner. You either have one or the other. So because there's a majority winner, we have no plurality winner. You can't have both. This is the same problem. You're either gonna have one or the other. Now let's look at Condorcet's method. Condorcet's method here. Remember, we're gonna pair each up one on one. You can start anywhere. So I'm gonna have happy versus dopey. And these are number of votes. So this is my scratch area over here. Dopey and happy. And we'll just add up the tallies over here, the votes. All right. So dopey, well, happy gets the first five votes because he got a first place finish. But dopey got a four plenty of votes in, in, in column one, two, two there. And then happy gets three more votes. But then dopey beats out happy down here and gets one more vote. So we add these up and it's dopey five votes, happy eight votes. So happy is our winner. So happy is gonna go on to face uh, Sneezy. So it's happy versus Sneezy. And I'm gonna take care of my scratch work here. So happy is gonna go head to head with Sneezy. Let's look at this. Happy's got five first place votes. And then Sneezy beats out Happy. And so Sneezy gets the four votes there, but Happy gets another three votes. And Sneezy beats out Happy in the last column and gets one vote. So again, this is eight total votes to Sneezy's five. So Happy 
is going to win over cesium. Let's do this again. So now happy is going to take on grumpy. And if happy wins, he is our grand champion and undisputed champion. But if grumpy wins, now we got to loop grumpy against all the other candidates to see if he is the age of the winner. So let's look at this. So happy gets the first five votes. Grumpy gets the four next four votes, column two. So then happy gets those three votes again. And Grumpy gets that number one vote. So again, it's 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 eight to five. And happy is our winner. Happy is the Condor said winner. All right, let's look at the sequential pairwise. Remember, this is our agenda list right here. This is the agenda list. And this is the order that we're going to pair up all the battles. So Grumpy's going to go against Happy. And let's look at this. We already see that Grumpy, Happy gets the first five votes. Happy gets five. And Grumpy gets the four at four votes. Then Happy gets that three votes, and Grumpy gets that last column one vote because he's number one. So it's it's eight to five. It's eight to five. Happy wins, and Grumpy is eliminated. Grumpy is eliminated. So now we go Happy against Sneezy. Happy versus Sneezy. Let me put that over here. So happy gets that first column five votes. Then Sneezy gets those four votes, beats happy in that one. So Sneezy gets four votes. Then happy gets those three votes, and Sneezy gets that one vote. And again, it's eight. Five happy wins. And you know what? That means Sneezy is eliminated. So Sneezy's out. So now we got to put happy against Dopey. And when I do that, just, I'm going to get the same score. Happy wins that first one and it's five points. Dopey wins the second one and gets four points. And then happy wins the third one and gets three points. And Dopey wins that last column and gets one point. So again, it's eight, five, happy is our winner. And, and the sequential pairwise champion. Now the last one, we look at rank method. Rank method and every first place vote is three points, second place vote is two points, third place votes one point, and last place vote is uh, zero points. So I need to extend this. I need to reshare this with you. Here we go. And so now I'm looking at letter E and I'm going to list my candidates here. So I've got happy. 
I've got grumpy. I've got sneezy. Okay, so for every first place finish, we get three points. Well, happy is the winner in column one, and that's for five votes. So five times three points per vote is 15. So happy gets 15. Dopey got four first place votes. So four times three is 12. And so Dopey gets 12 points there. Next, happy gets three more first place votes. So three times three is nine. So we're going to add that in the happy's column. And then grumpy gets one first place vote. So he gets three points in his column. And sneezy doesn't have any first place votes. Now, the second place votes are worth two points. Dopey's got five second place votes. So five times two is 10. Sneezy got has four second place votes. So four times two is eight. Dopey's got three more second place votes. So four times two, oh, I'm sorry, three times two, three votes is equal to six. And Sneezy's got one second place vote. So that's just gonna be one times two, which is just two. Now, third place vote, Sneezy has five third place votes. So five times one is five. Grumpy's got four third place votes. So four times one is four more points. Grumpy's got three third place votes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 